This is uh, eleven fifty one PM and it's uh, Tuesday, the thirtieth day of uh, July twenty twenty four. Uh, almost one uh, twelve a.m. It's the voice of uh, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyang, the National President of uh, CEO NGOs. I want to talk to every one of us tonight those of us who actually know what is happening, those who actually will continue to know what is happening. We don't want to be part of noisemakers, those who want us to make them relevant. What concerns us, the NGOs and the CEOs, is just to make sure that the tears of our people have been wiped off. We must fight to the end. No stopping. My pen today is nothing but what our people are passing through, including we, the CEOs, the major stakeholders of all these grants, and more especially the UAG and UAX. It is really painful. It is really disheartening. In fact, it's a very painful situation. That people have toyed, people have suffered, and people are still suffering in this condition and state of our dear country in Nigeria. How did we get here remains the question. Because we have people who are heartless. We have people who don't care, who don't send whether people are dying or not. Once you cash out, you cause others to keep crying and keep passing through pains. You come out like an angel. Before you know it, you turn to the worst devil so far. The pains of the people, the cry of the masses is no longer at all reaching you. How did we get here? But one thing I know for sure is every one of us are human beings. One day, you must give account of what you have done. Because the Bible I know and I read says that God is coming with his recompense to give each one according to what he or she has done. Well, you may think you are sharp. You may think you have mouth to talk. Talk what you want and what you don't want. You have mouth to come to social media, abuse people, cause people that has never done you anything bad just because we all met in the grand community. Which I know too well that all these people that abuse us, abuse me, cannot see me one on one and make noise. God in heaven is my witness. You can never see me on the road and make noise. But then, what do we do? What do I do? Because of the course I'm on to for my people, I look at them all as distractors. Those who don't know they are left to their right. And I will always advise the CEOs, the just CEOs, to always allow them make their noise. Allow them because they are looking for relevant. Don't make them that relevant they are looking for. Time has come. And this is the hour. Now, listen to me. Listen carefully to me, all CEOs in Nigeria. All 
major stakeholders whose the pain of the masses are really giving concern if you see what i'm seeing and hearing every day you will cry tears your heart will bleed school has closed do you know that so many parents could not afford their children's school fees this is the last term for this section many children that are supposed to graduate could not pay their school fees for their graduations so many have not even eaten talk more of paying school fees a lot of families if you see what i saw landlord coming with court to throw away people's load outside people's load outside so many people their business say they where they even get one naira are no longer their own people have collected them all some people are there every day they will enter social media and be making useless noise that makes no single meaning some will come out to talk jargons because they felt they are wise and they have cashed out <laughs> i want to tell you this you have cashed out those is not not true fine let us see how it will end you let us see how you end up with it and let us see whether you are all and all the same way you eat that money is the same way you're going to vomit them. Mark my words and let us see how it ends. CEOs, I want to call on the Edas Forum. I want to call on all the just fighters of this grant, UAAG. The Chief Agogo of Yoruba Worldwide. Yoruba land worldwide. Archbishop Ambara, I am leader of Africa. Kendra Investment, Joyce Lovely, Dochupu, Ambala One, Comrade Richard. All of you who are calling their names now, listen carefully. I beg all of you. Please call me for further actions. Call me for further actions. I'm taking it off from here. After my meeting tomorrow with all the executives of NGO CEOs, all my security team gets it. The task force gets it. All the people under the security, all the media get it. We are taking another dimension to getting all this done. God will help us. God will be with us. And we must get our money. Nothing, no Jupiter will eat this money because it. I have, with my people, gone this far to confirming at least one thing is is their money the answer is yes is the authority aware the answer is yes then what is holding the money is the next thing we need to look into because i will not go further because a leader don't vomit everything in him or her but from here actions we start tomorrow after our meeting. Those who are concerned for this meeting, make sure you are there. I said, make sure you are there. Don't make noise at the background. Don't make noise at the door, at the back door. Join the fight. This is the time. No other time other than now. Please. Let the cry of the masses touch every soul, hearing my voice now. And let us join hands together. Madam 
Favor Johnson, Madame uh, Annie Opoli, all of you who have been fighting, I may not know your names, but please, all the state chairmen and executives, please, all of you should reach me. All of you should reach me. Already, something is on ground for us to do. And we are taking it up immediately. No waste of time. God bless you all. All executives, if indeed you are an executive, don't absent yourself for tomorrow's meeting. The National Press Conference Committee, make sure you and your team are in the meeting. The XA to the National President on state internal matters. Pastor Ambassador Emmanuel Xian Okun, get your team ready. All the prayer coordinators headed by Pastor Opute David, get your team ready. We are taking it off from here. We cannot rest again until this money enters our account. I think. The delay can no longer be taken. Let us find out and know where this problem is coming from. Thank you. And do have a wonderful night rest. May the holy angels of God be with us. May we sleep all like a baby and wake up like giants. Remain blessed. This is still your humble and focused leader, Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyang. Till we meet. Thank you and God bless you.